Out of Sudan, where at least 15 people were killed when security forces moved in to stop street protests, according to medics. The latest violence is the biggest crackdown on protesters since a military coup overthrew a delicate power-sharing arrangement last month. In the weeks since, the hundreds of thousands of people have been on the streets of the capital Khartoum, demanding the restoration of a civilian government. Fatima Manji has this report. Nearly a month on from a coup, still Sudanese protesters are on the streets, marching to the beat of freedom. Determined that they, and not the military, will decide their country's future. The people are stronger, cry these women. But their weapons are chanting and drumming, and they're no match for the tear gas and live bullets of the security forces. Yesterday, at least 15 people were killed, hundreds more believed wounded. The protesters go from defiant marching to frenzied running in an attempt to escape the bullets. Yet some have already been caught. This young boy has just been shot. He struggles to move, clutching his chest, and he's getting weaker. Blood from the wound seeps through to the back of his t-shirt. His friend cries out for help, knowing he's in urgent need of medical attention. As others gather around, they ask his name, just in case. It's Montessor, and he's quickly bundled into a car to hospital. This footage was shot by activists of Sudanese Archive, who've been documenting human rights abuses in the country. We know Montessor made it to hospital, and we've been told he's recovering. The shooting is heavy. We are on our knees. Don't let them say they did not shoot. They're liars. They're only tough against children, women, and old people. As well as trying to stop people taking to the streets, the regime is attempting to block the flow of information. Internet lines continue to be cut off. We managed to speak to one activist on the phone earlier who says people are reeling from the bloodiest day yet. These elements were dressed in uh, police forces insignia and they direct their shots to the heads and chest and stomachs of the protesters. At least two journalists declared their uh, abduction attempt that happened uh, yesterday and before yesterday uh, downtown in Khartoum. An attempt that was carried by people who wore civilian clothes, drive cars without plates and try to kidnap the uh, journalist. The forces of General Borhan have insisted their power grab and removal of a democratically elected prime minister is not a coup, but a correction and a transition period. That period now includes a brutal crackdown. And yet, still, activists are calling for more demonstrations. Fatima Manji reporting. Now, a man who 